Hey everyone, this message is going to be for the collective. And we're going to take a look into Divine Masculine and the Karmic. Y'all been asking for them, I'm delivering these videos for y'all. Be sure that y'all hit the like button and share with your family and your friends. If this message resonates with you guys, be sure to um, comment below. Let me know what's going on. Yeah, let me light up this sage. <laughs> and then we can get going, okay? All righty then. All right, so we are lit. I've already staged the cards. And we can go ahead and go in and get these messages. I'm going to start off with the Kipper deck. with the Divine Masculine and Karmic. What's going on with Divine Masculine and Karmic? Ooh. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I got a false person here. I got a false person. Somebody's wearing a mask. Somebody's faking so they can get some type of gift. Somebody's pretending here. Pretending like they're interested. Pretending like they're uh, doing the best that they can. That they're doing all the work all along so they can get some type of recognition. Some type of attention. Some type of gift. This is childish. I don't know if this is masculine or karmic. I'm going to have to pull a little bit more to find out. Yeah, see, somebody is getting ready to get an abundance. Okay, could be tax season. Somebody's getting ready to uh, get some type of sudden wealth. Okay, so I feel like this is masculine. Who's doing all this faking and pretending? Yes, from this main female. Okay, so so this main female can get give them, give them some type of gift, reward them in some way, shape, or form. I already told y'all that she be uh, the karmic. She likes to spend money on uh, masculine. That's why masculine is there. They have this. Uh, it seems like some type of agreement or. I'm not sure if it's an agreement or if it's masculine just has, has her head over heels. But definitely, it's some false energy. It's definitely some false energy here, for sure. Somebody is doing a lot of pretending, lots of pretending. And that's because they know that some money is getting ready to come towards this female. So, yes, this is masculine sitting here doing all this faking. Because he know that this female is getting ready to get her taxes or getting ready to get a raise or some type of influx of money. Yeah, masculine over here being, trying to uh, be lighthearted and being kind, doing all this pretending. Sitting over here, at, look at this, twin flames and mask. See, this first masculine over here trying to pretend like he is, him and her are like twin flames, soulmates. Must be trying to mirror um, her energy, but he, this, he really self-absorbed. 
He really a narcissist. Okay, he really one sided. He really loves bombing her. What is this gift about? See, the same energy want to come out. And it's a lot of mirroring going on. So, um, I got twin flames, the golden mirror, and mask. See, the gift is masculine sitting over here, allowing her to think that they are so balanced and they complement each other. But really, he wearing a mask. He really a narcissist. Wow. Yes, and then main female, she chasing him. She over here chasing him. She go talk to her girlfriends. But see, she she love him unconditionally. She be giving and giving him affection, giving him, she done fell in love with masculine. So she over here chasing him. But she when she hurt, her feelings hurt, she get on the phone with her homegirls. Um and they, you know, she running it down. How masculine done stabbed her in the back, broke her heart. They separated. He done did something surprising. She ain't seen it coming. And um, she can't let it go. She did something. And she is definitely very much so like an empath. Like she, she's, I'm not going to say an empath. She is gullible. That's what I'm going to say. She's gullible. Like she could be young or she's never had somebody um, like him before. But we got a girl with the snake in abundance. So she's steady. She don't have no boundaries. She's she's an enabler. She's easily charmed and easily used. And she's over here giving him an abundance. Okay. Like I said, this is a karmic relationship. Ooh, okay. She's steady chasing behind masculine. Masculine over here pretending because he knows she finna get some money. He be timing it. Let me see. What's masculine coming towards this time? Been spying on her. He's spying on her because it seems like she wants to get married. He don't. He's just there for the passion. We got axe hammer and passion. So he plan on like breaking up or them going through a separation. He's possibly going to sabotage this connection right now. He's possibly in this connection because of the passion. Okay, they got a chemistry, they like each other, they be having fun. But she wants to get married. He's he's seeing that she's talking marriage talk now. Like she talking about leveling up, moving in together, union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, being together forever and all that. Let's see. We got love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. So, masculine does have some feelings for her. But you know what? We got mask. Masculine is wearing a mask. He is pretending to be in love with this girl. She's providing him with a bunch of stability. We got stability, security, growth. Flexibility, paradise. She's providing him with a lot of stability. She's giving him some stability. Okay, masculine is over here trying to um, heal from some type of heartbreak from his past. Okay. But he's definitely self-absorbed. He, he's actually really one-sided and a narcissist. And he likes to seduce. Um, he likes having third parties. He likes flirting, hanging out, clubbing maybe, drinking, hooking up, 
He's super duper self-absorbed. See, we got Cupid's arrow, having faith. See, he knows that she got faith that they're going to get married one day, but he don't. He feels like they're going to break up one day. They're not going to be together forever. We got breakup, separation, stopping the pattern, silent treatment, abandonment. I'm telling you, I feel like he got multiple options that he's having sex with. We got a heart with the key and passion. There's somebody else in the picture. He got plenty of options. He likes her. He likes her. But then he's, you know, he's still a snake. He's still a snake. Um, and he looks at her as the other woman. We got the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder to other women. That might be what he like about her. I feel like that's what he likes about her. He likes that she's sneaky, sly. But does he want to marry her? I don't think so. We got coffin and boat. I feel like he can't get over how generous she is. I feel like she is super generous. We got death, boat, and girl with a snake. And, and paradise and palm tree. I feel like he just can't get over how easy this is. How uh, submissive she is. How vulnerable she is. I feel like he likes that about her. But I feel like she's okay with playing second place. And I feel like um, that is a reason why he does not want to marry her. She's talking marriage. Yep, see, wedding rings and seduction. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, third-party interference. For some of you... Y'all married to y'all masculine, and she's the, the karmic. She's the third party. Karmic relationship, the golden mirror. This is a karmic. This definitely is karmic. And she's chasing them down. She is chasing him down because she wants him to mirror what she has done for him. He's over here pretending with his mask energy. He's doing it so he can uh, get some type of gift or get some type of uh, acknowledgement or something from his family. It ain't genuine. It's not genuine. Let's use this right quick. Let's get a card from here. letting her get too close to him i couldn't let you get too close to me he's trying to uh he's trying to um become a better person this is what he's telling her like he's becoming a better person um but the thing about it is is he's not gonna let her get too close he don't want her to get too close for well it's a specific reason why he don't want her to get too close he lied to her all the time and he always messing up everything He's always having to apologize as well. He's always having to apologize for, for doing something, for lying about something. So he's always covering his tracks. So show me how masculine feels. What is his intentions towards the karmic?
We got the Nine of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, see, karmic, I mean, masculine trying to get over somebody from his past. Could be um, the Divine Feminine with this Queen of Cups energy. Could be a Water Sign, Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio. But this is definitely Divine Feminine energy, okay? And this masculine is trying to get over. So he's definitely using her to get over something from his past. So he decided to make it known that he was in a relationship with the karmic, but he's still he's ending up regretting it. He's regretting it. <laughs> now he's stuck in his relationship. Eight of Swords and the Two of Cups. Now he's stuck. Now he feels stuck. He want um She wants more from him. He wants to slow down. She wants more. He just don't want to go back to this situation because he don't want to be looked at funny. He don't want to be questioned about the moves that he made for his life. He don't want to be questioned. But the thing about this is she wants more from him and he wants to slow things down. So now he feels stuck in this connection. could be a Capricorn or a Libra Gemini Aquarius whatever the sign is it's toxic okay she over here regretting the relationship already because she wants equal attention she feels like things should be equal and she feels like she does isn't getting enough of attention of his attention um she's looking at that every day okay but she's hoping that he asks her, um, what is it that she wants? Because she's always giving him what he wants. But she always is fine on him, um, keeping an eye on him, possibly online. Yeah, he got secrets, and he's hiding how he feels, how he truly feels. Like, he's definitely 100% wearing a mask. I feel like he wants to have, um, he wants his cake and eat it too. Mine's the two of pentacles here. A hermit. It could be a Virgo. He's been hearing a lot of stuff about him, a lot of gossip about him. Oh, he wants divine feminine and he wants karmic. I told you he wants his cake and eat it too. We got the lovers, the strength card, and the queen of cups. This person that karmic that he's dealing with could be a Leo or a Gemini or a water sign. But he would he wants both. But now he's stuck in this relationship with the karmic. Because I feel like divine feminine ain't putting up with that. Yeah, so he's coming up with some new idea. He could be um, could be trying to get her pregnant or she could be trying to get pregnant. Somebody feel it's, he feels like he's not enough because I'm telling you she's over here telling him or showing him like she regrets the relationship. He's over here playing mind games. Um cheating on her to see what her reaction is going to be seeing what she's what she's going to let him get away with i feel like he tried to uh oh maybe he tried to have a threesome i'm seeing that here too but somebody got jealous oh yeah that that somebody got mad somebody got mad um, maybe he's tried to holler at one of her friends. Um, 
Yeah, Empress, Queen of Wands, Three of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, I'm getting three people. So he could have uh, tried to get it in with one of the friends. Um, or she uh, tried to go through with a threesome to, you know, just for fun. Yeah, see, the Seven of Cups, see, he's he is giving her this big illusion. He has her wrapped up in this illusion. And his energy is the Star and the Three of Pentacles. He's hoping that it's work because he don't know what else to do. He don't want it to seem like he's switching up all the time. So, um, he's creating this illusion. He's thinking of a way to kind of resolve the issue. I feel like for some, this, uh, like I said, some of you, you're married to this, to this, uh, mask. I feel like he's in, I feel like he has feelings for both, for you and this karmic. Everybody felt like he should, he's saying it. He's surprised that it fell apart. Everybody feel like uh, he should have left after there was some back and forth going on. Um, he's taking notes. He's taking notes. But I feel like he is toxic. This masculine is toxic. Whoever masculine this is, he toxic. Yeah, see, he's trying to get over... He's trying to move on from Divine Feminine. And he's using her to uh, accomplish this. And he's over here like, I hope it works. I hope it works. She's over here kind of having regrets. Crying over spilled milk all the damn time. Yeah, because he always over here asking her for money. Because he already knows she's going to say yes. He already knows she's going to say she got him. Yeah, she's been doing whatever masculine tell her to do. Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm getting somebody, I'm getting like he already married or he already had, I, I'm just, for some of you, I'm getting like masculine, you and masculine are married and he's just stepping out with his karma. But it's a lot of waiting. This is in his hopes and fears. Like it's a lot of waiting. I feel like he doesn't want to, uh, I feel like he got unfinished business. We got the magician and two of swords in the world. I'm getting like unfinished business with divine feminine. And things are just, I feel like things between you and masculine um, got heated real, real quick and it fell apart. Um, I'm hearing some of y'all didn't change y'all last name. When you and masculine got married. Why is the moon here? Yep, the moon and the ace of swords. Okay, so masculine is holding back some type of truth. He's hiding something from the karmic. He's holding back. He's definitely spying on her. Um, he's trying to see how far he can get the sun, cherry, eight of wands. He's trying to see how far he can go. Um, like I said, whatever he asks for, she is providing that for him. Um, he's trying not to have no type of disagreements or get on her bad side at all. Um, he hasn't made up his mind yet exactly how he wants or what he wants to do with his relationship with, Car with the Carmen. He's just enjoying the ride. Okay, he is enjoying the ride while it's hot. While, you know, he's enjoying it. 
Tell me why this Ace of Swords is here. Ten of Wands. Two of Wands. Yes, yeah, see. He, yes, yeah, see. Look at this. Changing his mind. He changed his mind. He got a lot that he could say. A lot that he wants to say, but he's holding back. Because he's trying to figure out if he's going to change his mind or not. Like, you know, he got something, a choice to make. And I see him spying. He's spying. He's spying on Carmen. He don't want to take some type of risk in front of everybody. Or he feels like she's going to tell everybody their business. But, and uh, he keeps going back and forth. Or she's trying to keep him from going back and forth. Okay. Somebody, somebody. Masculine definitely going back and forth to, between exes. Going back to people from his past and is sneaking around. Okay, these are the people that he's sneaking around with from the past. He don't know how it how that got back to her. Um, somebody running down his business. And he's mad about it. Somebody is, I'm getting a lot of gossiping going on between them two as well. So masculine feel like he's stuck in this relationship right now. And he's trying to use uh, that karmic to get over the divine family, but it's not going too well. <laughs> All right, so that's the message that I have for you guys. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, and I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao.